But uh, I see he's uh doing shows. Another he did a show like I forgot he did it like a reunion show. Like damn, he's still doing that shit out there doing it. That's why that whole age limit shit is stupid. I'm using you can't put an age limit on music and shit. I don't know. They just try to do. They just try to do that in hip hop in order to create division. Right, and that's what they try to do because hip hop to unite it. Who the fuck can stop it? Who can stop hip hop? If all genres of hip hop, everybody that bumps hip hop, every hip hop head, whether you listen to the wicked shit, gangster shit, reality shit, or you listen to conscious rap, or you listen to party rap, whatever kind of hip hop you like, whether you're a break dancer, a DJ producer whatever you it is imagine if everybody was just united hip-hop couldn't be stopped mm-hmm. just got a notification baby yoda tonight i'll be putting that shit in the calendar our calendars be locked up like i said we do two live interviews every uh we do a live in- interview every wednesday and saturday so uh, make sure y'all tune in i'm almost <laughs> in this job but i hate to get off here because we got all these people in the uh chat yeah, that new Eminem is uh dope. I like that album, dog. Anybody see if they that, see if people want to know what hip hop is all about, bro. What they need to do is watch Crush Groove. Because if you pay attention to Crush Groove, look at the age differences between all the marks. Right. And while we talking about real hip hop, I want to shout out again our friend, friends, <laughs> Jaleel from Houdini. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you see what that says? 85, baby. 85. What blew my mind, though, was the first date was in Michigan on that tour, but it was in Saginaw. It was probably because it was it was probably an outdoor uh, show or something, like at some kind of festival type thing. But shout out to Jaleel from Houdini. He personally sent me that shirt. We went to the Hill Smoker podcast. But it was all love. He's been uh commenting under the videos and shit. He, we rock with uh Jaleel. Jaleel's cool people. Shout out to Jaleel. He's a legend. Houdini's a leg. They're legendary. You know what I'm right. saying? Mm-hmm. Look, if people paid attention to Crush Groove, Curtis Blow was grown. <laughs> Ryan and D just graduated from high school. Right. And the fat boys were still in high school. <laughs> but despite the generational age gap, they all came together for the love of hip hop. Right. Even nah, LL, yeah. even LL, 14, 15 at the time. Right. No, I don't know. I ain't do you up on Kirk Cobain. Somebody asked if we fuck with Kirk Cobain. I up on that. Brother King X might uh, probably know more about Kirk Cobain than I do and shit. Shit, which one? The producer or the uh, singer from the rock group? Right. Because it was a uh, Kirk Cobain that used to produce for Death Row. Right. So, yeah, you got to be more specific. <laughs> Some of these motherfuckers be having me rolling in here. Kurt Cobain from Nirvana. Oh, I fucked with this music. Yeah. It's just that it. it's just that Kurt Cobain didn't want the fame like that. And when that fame blew up, it was fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? And he got to hitting them drugs. That's one thing a lot of people don't understand that a lot of a lot of people that do music, a lot of people don't want don't like the fame like that. It's like artists are actually out there with social anxiety, like Andre 3000. That's why outcasts barely do shows. Right, right, right. But he could have been. They said, I, man, I remember being 14 and getting arrested for uh, knocking a lynch mob CD. Shout out to the lynch mob. We had JD on three. We had three on twice from the lynch mob. Uh, Dazzy D. Shout out to the yep. lynch mob. Cube called while uh, we was chopping it up with JD from the lynch mob. Shout, shout out to the lynch mob. What's your favorite song to listen to 